morning again from Disney's Art of Animation Resort. This is day six, and we are heading to Disney Springs for our brunch reservation at uh, House, Blues. House of Blues. Very excited. We've made it to the House of Blues, but there's literally no one else down here. Oh man, got the Magic Dragons. Not mama's fingers here on the paper. He said, What can I get? You don't color? want to show Dada how to color. Look, color, mama. Yep, look. He's been coloring this whole time. You got the bow boy. <laughs> fried chicken hand for comparison as always this is a hefty piece of fried chicken yeah and it's got some mashed potatoes and slaw all right so we just left house of blues it was okay at best six and a half out of ten honestly said six and a half out of ten her food you said you like your food though right oh yeah i really liked it it was just like not worth the price enough it so, was like American Roadhouse, a little elevated. So like 20 bucks for the plate was way too much. So we had 15% off for staying on property, which brought a 35.50 for the total. And we left our tip. Um, so, I mean, yeah, the price was definitely not worth it. My fried chicken was, was wet, like not moist wet like the chicken itself felt like it had been soaking in water like they had marinated it in water and the uh the skin on it had like zero flavor it didn't have flavor until i added salt to it there was no flavor at all so definitely not get the fried chicken there if you're gonna get anything also we came here for the brunch menu they don't serve the brunch menu but on the weekends and nobody bothered to tell us that so there's that now we gotta determine what they're doing with the rest of the day. So, hey Grant, where are we at? We're at Cabana Bay. Hey Kona. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Lazy River. Lazy River. Hey Kona. You having fun the Lazy River? <laughs> hey Kona. Hey. We got the slow lane, didn't we? Oh, you know what it is? What? Less air in the flow. In this one? Hey, Kona. Hey. Do <laughs> <laughs> you love it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't hop out of the float. Are you swimming? Are you swimming? <laughs> oh, splashing. So I was going to do like a tour of Cabana Bay, but I forgot to realize that right now it's like the check-in time, so it's super hectic out there. So just gonna show you, we're just gonna be hanging out at the pool. We got Kona here, we got Kiki, we got Grant, and we're just kind of hanging out right now. But what? Oh, I not say her? No. All right. All right, Double Dippers, I figured I'd take the time here while I'm alone in this huge hot tub here to tell you about how our trip to Cabana Bay went. So we got here yesterday around 11. We went to the online check-in because we checked in on our phone because you have an option for an online or in-person check-in. We went to the online check-in, got here at 11. Then we went to, our room was ready within like the hour. 
So we went to our room. We got a handicap accessible room, which is literally when you're in the like the main dining area and right to the left of the lobby. It is like to the far left of the dining area. It's like the first room. It's 5100, which is the first room in there. So it's because it's handicap, handicap accessible. So you had to like have it be close by so where my dad could get around easily because he's in a wheelchair. And uh, so we got there. It was pretty able. They just texted us like a room number. They gave us our keys as soon as we got there. So they were able to check into the room. We made it. Hey, and how long was our commute here? Uh, we had a 30 minute drive and then it, since the time we got here, it took 30 minutes to get to the actual What's restaurant. What's because there's a wreck on the I-4W? I just mean like, since we parked out here, it was... Oh. Yeah, we parked at 6. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to make your reservation. That takes 30 minutes to get back here. Good cheese thinking. Last night at uh, Yeah, I mean, Chef it was Art. homecoming. Mm -hmm. I don't... Oh, this... Mm. Mm. I, don't, I don't remember what all the different breads were. Goat cheese and garlic. Cornbread. It's not bad. What's this? But it's not Gar my favorite. Gar I mean, cornbread. It's very garlic and uh, very goat cheesy. Here. All right, Grant, what are we doing? Trying some bacon vinaigrette. Wait, is this bald dude somewhere who waited on us before? He waited on us this weekend to transfer it to ship. No. Give us a little summary of your meal, of the main course part. We have meat, we have corn, we have green beans, but nobody ate though. Oh, yes. Alright, so the chocolate bacon first. Oh, it's flimsy, that's weird. Oh, well, it's bacon. Yeah, but I thought it would have been hard from the chocolate. You don't like it? It's not bad. It kind of tastes like a uh, crap, what's it called? Dark, like just dark chocolate, like Ghirardelli dark chocolate with a little bit of a crunch to it and a saltiness. Did you, you gonna have some of them? I have no. sure. I'll take oh, the horseshoe. Come here. The sugar cookie's okay. It's got crystallized sugar on top. It tastes like the cheap Walmart cookies that you get for Christmas parties. <laughs> Those might taste slightly better than this. You're honest, this is a crap eating. She likes the Walmart sugar cookies, so. I think that's an accurate statement, though. It tastes like. Flour with sugar crystals on the outside. Try the chocolate covered bacon now. Oh, so we're just kind of supposed to like scoop our own. Put your fingers in there. Oh, that is weird. No, no, no. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know, they just kind of complement each other more than you'd expect. Yeah. But it's also like a chocolate covered bacon. It's just, it's odd. Like, it's not like where it's like, oh, wow, this is a revelation. It's just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Double Dippers. So this is another kind of awkward ending to our videos. I promise most of the videos on our channel aren't like this. It's just that this trip was particularly fraught with things happening, things going wrong, things happening, all sorts of different directions and ideas and who's what sits and all that stuff. But anyway, you'll notice that our time at Trails End was kind of short and it felt kind of like awkward and... Uh, stilted in a way that's because it took forever for that ice cream dessert thing to come out at the very end like the service here was not good the food was all right but when you take like just decent food and compound that with like below average service it really kind of ruined our evening a little bit for us and it made it a very not enjoyable experience at trails end 
it was really hard to like find someone to come and like hey like we need our bill we need our dessert we need the next part of our thing here we're ready to continue on with our food it's really hard to find someone to do that so that really kind of soured our mood that's why we just didn't even like feel like recording an outro at the time and that was kind of why we just didn't feel like talking about it we just kind of wanted to move on with our time but in order for this video to make any sense i kind of have to come in and talk about it here in this format so this has been like it's just been like we have a bunch of like uh windows and fragments we're just stitching them together into some sort of coherent hole for this trip but again most of the videos from this trip we did manage to create a coherent whole. We're still like, we're still like starting out vlogging, and this is this is really just for like our own entertainment. We hope you enjoy it as well. I know like my brother started this channel, and he started just to document our own personal vacations. Although personally, I'm wanting to like kind of like show it to other people, and kind of like show you all what our experiences are like, and just kind of like just show you, just give you a great idea of like what Disney is like if you go there and stuff and just kind of like inform you of like here's what things are like so I just want to kind of inform you that our time spent here was not great so um, yeah I hope that hope that all you would still enjoy the video it's a bit of a short one it just wasn't on any other way to like kind of compile this together it didn't really fit into any other sort of video we could have like smashed it into but uh, again still hope you enjoyed it hope you uh, check out our other videos which aren't as which aren't like this, frankly. Um, but we still want to put this out there. So, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching, Double Dippers.